Even uh, Cuck Ruffalo knows the MCU sucks, or, or Mark Ruffalo. He ain't no MCU's. Cuck, man. Have you haven't you seen uh, that movie where he fucks Julianne Moore, but she's a lesbian, married to Annette Bennett? Oh, uh, I guess so. I mean, if you, you've heard him talk. He he said some really stupid things in the past. So he's like, like a what? ultimate, he's really... like an ultimate climate changer, diversity. Oh uh, well. Black yeah. light, you know, he every, everything you think of. Uh, but isn't that just everybody in Hollywood? Yeah, he's like one of those like top level guys, though. You know, like I feel like there's some people that shut the fuck up. He's one of those vocal people. You know, like like you never hear from some people. You know, even like Robert Downey Jr. Do you really hear from him that much? Like, yeah, man, right, like, you show me that. Like, uh, how about this? How, how about this one? Chris Chris Hemsworth. Do you ever hear a fucking single thing from Chris Hemsworth? Or, Scar- or Scarlett Johansson. It's because he's, like, borderline retarded. Or Scarlett Johansson. I think they're, like, smart enough to know, like, I'm going to shut the fuck up. Scarlett Johansson's a perfect example of that. Like, I'm sure she's so fucking obnoxious, and she just hasn't chosen to, like, express that to the world. You know, Ruffalo has. But, um, yeah, everyone now is admitting that Marvel's failing. Even um, uh, Cuck Ruffalo here. You know, after the Marvels movie, that's kind of been the big, uh, the big trend. And here's, by the way, here's a live look at Marvel Studios. I actually, had a live feed. Here's a live feed. What the fuck is this piece of shit? There you go. Nice. New clip. <laughs> <laughs> New green that, screen was, clip uh, I can use. That's Taylor Swift thing in Buffalo, right? Yeah, I, I'll have, you know, let's, let's do another, let's do a double take here. What the fuck is this piece of shit? <laughs> I love it already. I can use this a lot. I can reuse, I, I love that clip. That's great. But, um, yeah, it's nice when you find stuff, um, like I think there's a Dave Chappelle one where it's already green screened for you. Oh, that's why I searched, I searched Joe Pesci green screen and then I was able to like, you know, nice. I can chroma key it out. So yeah. same thing with the, um, I think you should leave clip. I, I found like a green screen clip and I can, someone already did the work putting it, you know, isolating it. You know, no, I'd rather that. Like a, a genre of memery. Yeah. I almost have to search more like green screen meme and I could find some other memes and kind of go with that. Cause I only got yeah, a few. I, mean, I got that. Like you said, partially doing the work for you and then you can kind of figure out how you want to use it. Yeah. And then even this, um, the Marvel is quietly retooling amid the superhero fatigue. Oh, really? Did you notice we're at 60K now? Oh, shit. Well, dude, that it's fucking stock went up. Like, the man. stock went up $100 or whatever. I'm like, okay. Stocks we're, went up we're, a lot. We're back in. Stonk, stonks are up, as they say. Yeah, stonks but are way up. Retooling, huh, Marvel? You sure about that? You sure about that? That's why? You sure it wasn't? Because after the thing that happened to me, no one could look at me without dying laughing? You sure about that? You sure about that's not why? It's funny. I have a Marvel one or a Disney one where uh, the background, I like to see in like a midget fall out of a car. That's just a no, he's an a added dwarf. bonus. A oh, a dwarf, whatever. Dwarf or midget. It's a big difference. Why I'm falling out of the car. Uh, but yeah, they're quietly. Re- retooling as they say uh maybe it has to do what with the agenda of firing all the women that they hired and then bringing in men yeah i mean it, it kind of feels like it's more like about uh there's bad material there you know like I, like i think it's uh this thing they don't want to admit that uh it sucks but it does seem to suck uh even mark ruffalo is giving a candid view on the streaming impact of mcu um even him He's talking about this. He's uh, talking about that. What's else? What else we got? I saw another quote here. More quotes by Man. the rough. That is um, way too much fucking meat to put on a sandwich. Like that is way too much fucking meat. We talk. Oh, the thing at the bottom there. Yeah, yeah you, you, you ain't getting that. You, 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 you never get that. Man. Or whatever. Uh, you never get that. Shit was the only time you're getting that kind of meat on a sandwich is like a deli in New Jersey or New York. That's about it. Like a real deli, they'll actually yeah, give you I, a real sandwich. That's what's nice about where, around here. Um, like a Woody Allen movie was shot, and they put so much like. Are you talking about cats? Food? Cats deli? Yeah, I think that's yeah, what it is. And, yeah, that's um, a fucking awesome. Like that one's so awesome. Much, 
corned beef and pastrami and all that shit on there. It was like I had to take half of it off and just like throw it out just to eat it. But the fun besides from like the New York City delis, like even New Jersey, we have like fucking you could find a deli that like packs it the fuck on, like which is nice. But yeah, Mark Ruffalo says Marvel movies have been had more mystique before streaming. Uh, will it be what it was? I don't know. I don't know. He's he's uh he doesn't know. Well, everything had more mystique before you could pretty much like binge watch a fucking season, you know. Like there used to be really there used to be something to watching an episode and then having to wait like a whole week yeah. until the next Sunday or something for the next oh, it's one. An overload too. I mean, there was a point well, where the level of anticipation is fucking dead. Oh yeah, there's there's an overload. Uh, here, Marvel Marvel star Mark Ruffalo says MCU had more mystique before Disney Plus expansion. The D plus D D plus is more. You know, that's a that's a good term for uh, Marvel. D plus is pretty accurate accurate there. It might be a little high, D plus. Uh there will be no Hawk solo movie for the MCU according to Muff Ruffalo. That's us that uh Muff Ruffalo right there. Wait, that's, did he uh, say anything did he say anything about She Hulk tainting his legacy? No, but he's in it. I mean no, I don't think no, it's he they is, just don't want to give him anything. Or... That's that's like the sad part of it. They don't want to give him anything. Um yeah, Maybe right, that's why he's running this. his mouth because he's not just getting enough attention from his work and performances, and he's got to drum up this shit. Yeah, I mean, before the Hulk, I mean, that's the funny thing about him is like before the Hulk, like wh what is he famous for? Like, like what's he famous for? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like not really sure. I was thinking about it. I was like, I really don't. Is he a movie star? Like, I don't. Is he? I'm trying to think. Can we check out like his IMDb or something? I'm gonna say this: the only thing I can remember in the past, and it was not like a. G I know he was in that. Um, ben Affleck's wife had some movie about like being older. Thirteen going on thirty. He's in that as oh, like that some. Uh, with, uh, that bitch with the big chin. Yeah, that's uh, the only thing. I, and then I know he was in some movie yeah, where um, Garner. Yeah, that's it. He was in some movie where I think it was about like um, stock crisis crap or so spotlight. Spot. It's called stock spotlight or something. No, that's not. A, that's about priest fucking little kids. Then I think he might be in the stock one too. He's, no, he's not, not in the big short. Oh, he's not in the big short. Okay, you're confusing just because they they like, came out around the same time and were both like yeah. big Oscar nomination things. Yeah, I think it's it's funny. I don't think he's um, I don't think he's a star. I I can't really like think of like oh that big Mark Ruffalo movie. You know, like what what is that? I guess well, it's the Hulk. Look, look at his IMDb here. I'll look in. I mean, I, I looked at it, and nothing's really standing out. That's what I'll say. Spots Fox Catcher. Fox Catcher is a good movie, but he's not a major part of it. At all, he's the, the third. Kids are all right. Is that lesbian movie I was talking about earlier? That yeah, nothing that I would say like oh, feed, but it's not. It's like kind of like borderline mumblecore shit. Yeah, no, yeah, nothing that's gonna really resonate with the general public, right there. Uh, it's, I guess it's the Avengers, the Hulk, shit. I don't, I don't think, think people really like that. Part in that. I, I don't, don't know really if actually him people being really in like Shutter anymore. Island. No, I don't at all. No. The Brothers Bloom is like not a good movie, but people like it just because Heath Ledger is in it. I think Spotlight is probably his biggest claim to fame, but even that is. What uh, about Eternal Sunshine? He's in it, but that's not. He's not really like you don't think of Mark Ruffalo with that movie. Yeah, you know, he's like, definitely not a leaning man whatsoever. I mean, when you think of Eternal Sunshine, you think of two people. Even though I know there's others, I know there's Elijah Wood. You know, Kirsten Dunst is in it, right? Yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah. yeah. it's. But you think of two people. You think of Jim Carrey and uh, Kate Winslet, and that, that's really it. That, that's yeah, I'm stopped. looking at his stuff. This is uh, this is tough. I mean, I, I guess to tell you the truth, the biggest claim to fame for him is probably the Marvel stuff. You know, it probably is. No, I think it, I think it's what you said that 13 going on 30 ship. That's probably the only thing I can remember him before all of it. Zodiac, probably, maybe. The biggest thing is the Avengers, and then he did Spotlight after the Marvel stuff. So, no, not really Zodiac. I think of I think That's of um, Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Uh, no, he's not like I, I don't know. He's not a good 
like he's not a big actor. He's not a star. It's I, I can. Yeah, I'm looking at his IMDb. It's like he he's never the lead. He's always some either ensemble or like uh, you know. Um, it's a weird existence of an actor because you everyone I think knows who he is, but well, he's poor, not oh, really no, poor things. Yeah, no, I know poor things, but again, poor things is for like art. No, but I, I think he has a really big part in that. He's like the he does, but in five years, is anyone going to remember poor things? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna Depends. say no. If it wins an Oscar, if it wins Best Picture, it, it won't. Maybe it's not gonna win. Out. No, it won't. He won't win for it. And poor yeah, well, we win. said the same thing about the dildo riding Asian movie, and that shit cleaned up. So no, we, Robert you know. Downey Jr. is going to win for Oppenheimer, and Oppenheimer will probably beat it. And yeah, no, 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 poor things is way on the list. It just it's one of those like happy to be nominated movies. But, I hope uh, you're no. wrong. I don't. I don't really want Christopher Nolan to win anything. Yeah, it's just it. It is weird though. It's a weird thing. Like everyone knows who the fuck he is, but. There's nothing where you'd be like, oh, that big Mark Ruffalo movie. Maybe it is Spotlight. That probably is the only thing that really. I would is. say Spotlight and the the new one with uh, Emma Stone. But that's just because of relevancy of the time. I feel like again, you wait. No, I a think it's. Years. I'm, I'm just saying, like the level of its uh, reception and also um, how Maybe. significant his role is. Maybe we'll see. Uh, but yeah, let's, speaking of this article with MCU. He said, um, speaking of GQ, because, you know, he had to do a GQ inter- interview because he's Ruffalo. Ruffalo commented on the MCU expansion into TV shows, which saw it balloon from 12 hours, which was in the phase one, which, by the way, phase one was probably um, one of the best era of that time period. Phase one and two um, to now in phase four, there's 54 hours and 40 minutes of TV. So from 12 hours to 54 minutes. That is fucking crazy. Just Wait, the amount is, of what are these phases you're referencing? There is all these different phases of like you know, movie one through X are in phase one, and then Avengers Endgame bullshit is two. You know, it's like there's all these phases. I think all of phase four has been post the Avengers Endgame, and it's been all just like a downward. Like that's been the worst phase. There's all these like certain like chunks of phases that they're trying to say like, oh, Iron Man to. Uh, Captain America 8 or whatever is phase one. I don't know. Yeah, that kind of shit. But um, phase one only saw 24 minutes of TV. That's, I guess, just one episode of TV. Um, didn't have, or no, 12 hours. I think it was a couple shows. It was uh, Netflix shows. Um, to now, 54 hours and 40 minutes of TV. And I mean, just the amount of content you have to keep up with with Marvel, I think, is a problem. Because I remember when these Marvel movies were really hitting you were able to like watch all of them. You were able to like go see like, Oh, I'm up to date. I'm up to date. I can go see Iron Man three. Cause I saw one, two and the Avengers and this, you know, it's like, it wasn't that many to the prerequisites weren't too bad. You know, now you gotta have to see she Hulk and secret <laughs> invasion and Shang Chi and the eight ant man movies that have come out. And then the, whatever the Sam Raimi, uh, Professor Strange movie, you know, like that kind of shit. It's just too much. That's a lot of uh, prerequisite. We need a Darkman reboot. Oh, I mean, I think we actually know. I think Darkman's good as is. I think it just maybe, maybe re release Darkman. It's not the nature of reboots. It, it's more to create a newer, worse version that over- overshadows the original to where a whole generation of people forget that it even exists and they only know the other one. I, I it mean, goes it you could you know, do a people dark probably don't even know there's a one with Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray and all that shit. You know, they just know. <laughs> I got it. Hope not. Or whatever fucking... Although it's there's only one good Ghostbusters movie. That's a big uh, thing that people. Forget. I don't know. I like the second one with the. No, the second one sucks, man. Come on, be true. Be true to yourself. The second one sucks. I would say it sucks, but it's not. No, it sucks, dude. Better. I'm telling you, it sucks. They're like it opens up with them at like a kid's birthday party. There's that Vigo painting now. That one sucks. Like, only good, there's only one good Ghostbusters. I'm I'm, I'm adamant on that right there. But um, what do we think? Um, did here's you Ruffalo. watch it recently or something? Not that long ago, and I realized like, oh yeah, this movie fucking is bad. There's like a baby fucking plot. They yeah, steal the baby. baby. It's, it's really bad. It's it it as a you kid, I always liked it. The, too. Uh, 
the weird nanny ghost flies in. Yeah, as no, the babies I, crawling on the uh, edge of the building. You don't like that? No, no. As a kid, I liked it a lot because I thought, you know, I I connected it all together. But then when you and you know, there's always movies you like as a kid, and you watch them like, oh yeah, like like what if I watched The Big Green today? I'm sure I won't like The Big Green, but I remember liking The Big Green when I was like That's seven that years old. Movie? Yeah, I'm sure I won't like The Big Green today, but same thing with Ghostbusters too. It's not good. There's one good Ghostbusters. Only thing I like about Ghostbusters too is that River of Ooze was kind of a cool idea. And they're like in the subway, and there's this fucking river of ooze. I thought that was cool. I think I that still is kind of cool. I like that. Dectoplasm river. Here we go, uh, Ruffalo. I think the expansion to streaming was really exciting, but the thing about Marvel movies is you had to wait three years to that, and that created the mystique. Had a mystique. These corrections could be a really positive things. What will it be? What it was? I don't know. Uh, these corrections. He's talking about corrections. Um, heard about these corrections right uh here we go that's that quiet reboot quiet retooling quiet rebooting that's going on here is that what's happening here i mean it doesn't or, seem like quiet uh yeah especially when you're putting out an article to the hollywood Reporter. <laughs> if it were quiet we wouldn't be talking about it right now hey stockholders there's a quiet retooling going on so you should stay a stockholder that's what it sounds like to me you know, and uh, certain PR nightmares and bad box office like Ant Man and the Marvels. Marvels really, it's it's. This is all because the Marvels. That's the funniest part about it. You don't make the it Marvels. I don't think they put stuff, this shit out. Stuff. Yeah, like you make a better movie. You know, I was actually watching some of the this movie called the uh, Art Idiot Brother. That um, oh, it's a good movie. I like that movie a lot. That movie's uh, really good. What's his name stars in uh, Paul. Um, yeah, Paul Rudd. Yeah, that, that's a good movie. Yeah, he's just like, it, it's frustrating, though, because he's like such an obnoxious moron. Yeah, that's a that might be a muted classic, because I like all the sisters. And... Uh, I mean, Elizabeth Banks looks kind of weird. She's got that, like, heat-bang wife, bang haircut. Uh, I want to say she directed it. And then the other one, the British one, is, oh, she's really hot. I'm, I'm a big. I know, but not in that man. because they're. Yeah, she's not hot, like, but she's like worn out and like pregnant. But yeah, but she's still just about her. Speaking, all right, and her even her like um lesbian wife, uh, who's um wrote uh Rashida Jones. She looks okay, yeah. even though she's like full diked out. Yeah, Emily Mortimer though, I'm all in on. Big fan of her. Emily Mortimer. Yeah, I haven't really the- uh, seen her in anything in a while. Yeah, it's funny she's doing like an American accent in that. Yeah, that's a that's a, not a but bad. I, movie. I like Steve Coogan. He's always pretty good. That's a good part for him too. That's like one of his better parts. I don't know. I just in general, I think he's good. Uh, like his bit parts, and I know overseas he's much bigger than here. Yeah, he also has this a- uh, road show that he does with another um, like comedian actor guy, where they just drive around and go to really nice restaurants. Yeah, I just like that, like, I don't know, that vibe of that, um, the filmmaking, I, I really like. It's like a comedy, but has some good, like, storytelling. Uh, that director did um, episodes with Glow, oh, and Glow was a really good TV show. That's one of those that, like, should have never got canceled. That really needs a uh, finishing. I mean, I know it won't happen now, but it really was a good show. It would have been a nice thing to have it actually finish right. The movie has a similar vibe to uh, that Ben Stiller Mumblecore movie, uh, I think it's called Greenberg. Uh, yeah, but not- a little bit more like not as mumblecore, not as like arty, you know, like or no, indie. no, it's it's definitely yeah. like more kind of dumb and stonerish. Yeah, yeah, I, I liked it though. Um, so yeah, maybe it's just because Marvel's content has sucked. Why you need to retool it? They're trying to act like um that there's just too much of it and you can't keep up. No, it's just that there's too much of it and it's fucking sucked. Like that That's how Star Wars feels. Echo. You know, like every other week you're like telling me about a new Star Wars show that, that I've never heard yeah, of. Yeah, there's there's a new one right now. There's a cartoon that's out. That's It's called The Bad Batch. 
It's about uh, some clone troopers, and it's a cartoon thing. But um, the first season wasn't bad, and then the second season kind of sucked. And I have no interest in watching the third season. That's sort of where I'm at with it. But the first season I actually did like. I, I thought it was like intriguing, at least a little bit. But that's now like four, four years ago. Four, three, three, four years ago. So back then it wasn't as bad. What did you think of uh, Clone High? That uh, you know, there's a season two of Clone High out right now. By the way, uh, like twenty came out. years later. Twenty years later, where it's also like I have no interest in visiting that. Maybe you know, maybe if you did it right after, I would have kept up with it. But yeah, I can't. I can't. It was go a pretty that. weird show. It's like a very strange premise. Yeah, I liked it then. I wonder if I would like it now. That's sort of how I feel. Yeah, I that's not, also I like, like it the critic. I also kind of was like, I liked it, but I was annoyed by some things. I remember like the Gandhi character, like super annoyed me. Yeah, like, well, that's I think that was on purpose. The character's like very obnoxious. Yeah, so I wonder if I would like it now. And um, or yeah, that was a weird now. batch of. I think uh, right before it was like the critic, the tick, uh, Duckman. That like I think. Yeah, people know, really like the tick no, too. I've never I think got it. Into really that. HBO stuff. The tick is really liked, by the way. I've never got into it, but um. No, I don't like it. It's uh, the guy who does it is the voice is uh, Putty from Seinfeld. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, also, it's um, the, the Hulk. There is going to be no solo movie. Uh, Kevin Feige completely rolled it out. So, Cuckolo is uh, not having a solo yeah, movie. That's like a have. really weird franchise. It feels cursed because you had the Eric Bana one with Jennifer. Yeah, it's bad. Moore, not Jennifer Moore, Jennifer Connelly. And um, what's that old drunk guy who does the uh, uh, fuck? Well, there was a, a Thor and Hulk movie that was like pretty interesting. I think I, so. It's kind of like there sort of was a solo movie, but it was kind of shared. It was like a tag team, which is I think oh, a tag yeah, team. Like, um, yeah. He's uh, in like some arena and they yeah. fight. Each yeah, and I think it's kind of based off a comic that people really like called Planet Hulk. And that's so it's like that was Nick kind Nicky. of a cool that's run. What I was to think of. Nick Nolte. That I'd say that's the best Hulk movie. Yeah, I think that is. I think that is. And then uh there's that one with Edward Norton that is just so fucking forgettable and bland with uh Liv Tyler. What's up, Dan Cast? Yeah, Thor movie the Thor movies are not bad. I kinda that they're yeah, I think they're all right. It's just, the only thing I don't like what about them about is this? they got Kat Dennings in it. And she's got like triple Z's, and they put this grandma sweater on her, and you you don't even like. Yeah, what's the point of casting her? But also, you know, it's like you're not going to let those those things breathe a little bit. I think the good thing about the good Marvel movies were they weren't like they weren't these superhero kind of like uh, copy paste jobs that you're seeing today. It was like you know the first Iron Man was an action movie, and it was like a, a good action movie. You know. Um, what is it? Uh, Gardens of the Galaxy was a good sci-fi kind of Star Wars -y kind of movie, you know, and um, even like Thor, it sort of had like a fantasy element or medieval thing to it. So that was kind of cool. Same with Wonder Woman. It had like this fantasy um, Lord of the Rings thing going on in their world. So it was kind of like they were good for that genre. It wasn't just about this copy paste job kind of thing going on, which it feels like now it feels like it's just. We gotta have a portal. We gotta have a villain, and it's gotta be a diversity uh, X, Y, and Z. You gotta check the boxes. Yeah. You mean a, not a portal? You mean a multiverse? Multi, oh, yeah, and that too, which is also just an excuse, a good good thing for an excuse to just do whatever the fuck you gotta want. Have, gotta have a multiverse. And uh, even South Park made fun of it. It's like everyone's bored of the fucking multiverse. Like, come on, everyone's fucking bored of that shit. 